What else? What else was I proper and dignified? All the time. You're always dressed right. You always look right. You always say the right thing. You're very nearly perfect. That's a rotten thing to say. Before we were married, I thought you slept with a tie. No, just for very formal sleeps. Well, you have absolutely no sense of the ridiculous. Like last Thursday night, you wouldn't walk barefoot with me in Washington Square Park. Why not? Simple answer. It was 17 degrees. Exactly. It's very logical. It's very sensible. And it's no fun. It, it, maybe you're right. Maybe I am a little bit too proper and dignified for you. Maybe you would have been happier with somebody a little bit more colorful and flamboyant. Like the geek. Well, it'd be a lot more laughs than a stuffed shirt. I thought you said I wasn't. Well, you are now. I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to listen to this. I have a case in court in the morning. Well, where are you going? Sleep. Now? How can you go to sleep now? I'm going to close my eyes and count Kenichis. Good night, dear. You cannot go to sleep now, Paul. We're having a fight. Well, you have the fight. When you're through, would you turn off these lights, please? Oh, that gets me absolutely insane. You can even control your emotions. No, no, no. I'm just as upset as you are. But when I get hungry, I eat. When I get tired, I sleep. And you eat and sleep, too? Don't deny it. I've seen you. Not in the middle of a crisis. Cry? What crisis? We're just yelling. You don't consider this a crisis. Our whole marriage is hanging in the balance. It is? When did this happen? Just now. It has suddenly become very clear to me that you and I have absolutely nothing in common. Why? Because I won't go walking barefoot in the park? You don't have a case, Corey. Adultery, yes, but cold feet, no. Don't you oversimplify this. I am angry, Paul. Can't you see that? It's, uh, 2... 2.15. If I can get to sleep in a half an hour, I can get about five hours sleep. I'll call you from court tomorrow. We'll fight over the phone. Hmm? You will not go to sleep, Paul. You will stay here and fight to save our marriage. If our marriage uh, hinges on those fish balls in Pelmenski, it is not worth saving. Now, dear, I'm crawling into our tiny little single bed. If you care to join me, we're sleeping from left to right. Mm -hmm.